Hey, this is Gap here. I'm at my hostel in Chiang Mai. But uh, this is actually the last day I'm here because I'm flying Bangkok tomorrow morning. I know that it's not usual to start a vlog with the last day footage, but trust me, this is the best way to share my own experience here in Chiang Mai. So after being picked up by my friend Viola and get settled down at the hostel, we rented a motorbike and tried to explore the old town of Chiang Mai. We went to lots of temples in the old town, and among those I think the Wat Chai Dilon was the most impressive one. There was a gigantic tower ruin that reminds me of the Angkor in Cambodia. I recall that there was only one side of the four of the tower that left for the elephant statues. And also, the top of the tower was already half destroyed. But despite of all that things, I was still surprised by the beauty of it. I recommend everyone to go there. And after finishing our tour in Old Town, we hopped on our bike and head west to the Wat Doi Susap. It's the Wat with the double dragon stairways. It took us almost half an hour and we had to ride on a steep hill to go up the mountain to reach it. But it was totally worth the pain because not just the temple was gorgeous, the view from the top of the mountain is also breathtaking. You can it's like you're flying all above the city and just look down. Oh my god. Wow, everything was so perfect at that moment. But little did I know, that was probably the best moment I've ever had here in Chiang Mai. So just at the moment when we're about to leave the temple and go downhill, a pouring rain suddenly came to us. Well, we tried to avoid it, but obviously we failed, and it was not the worst part. We tried to go down pretty carefully, we drove really slow and kept our eyes open, but we still had an accident. Well, it was at the straight way that close to the St. Paul's turn that we fall and slip away. Bill was fine except for her pants got destroyed. I got some light small injuries but it's not a big deal. Mm, the worst part is the bike was dead. It cannot be started. We freaked out and tried to call our hostel or the bike shop or something for help because we're in the middle of the mountain and the bike was our only hope to get down. But fortunately, there was a random guy who was, I think he was jogging around the mountain and he found us and they saved, and he saved us by just kicking the engine of the motor, which I think is the oldest way to start the engine. <sighs> well, the engine got started and we successfully made it to the hostel and we got some rest. Well, but I still don't know, even till now, I still don't know the reason of the car accident because, you know, it wasn't a straight way and we drove pretty slow, like probably 20 meters away. Even it's a downhill, I mean, that's pretty slow. And uh, I didn't even accelerate or pull brake and I didn't even turn, so... I don't know, maybe it's because I accidentally or unconsciously did something disrespectful that piece of the Buddha and they try to punish me or for whatever reason it is, I, I still cannot understand. Anyway, the day was basically ruined. We did eat some good food and went to the cool market with along with a nice bar. But I was so upset that day that I couldn't even enjoy it. And the next day I got a cold. The weather was so perfect that day and we should be having fun with the elephants but maybe it's because of the rain and the wind yesterday when we were riding. I had a light fever and felt a bit dizzy. Wow. I still made it to the elephant. Well, the elephants and 
sanctuary was surprisingly good. It started from feeding elephants with bananas. Then we made their mind mints or maybe some nutrition stuff and feed them again and then we were trying to give them a bath we had to use the long brushes to help because they were surprisingly huge but they're super cute and then we had fun together in the river and the mud i even felt cured when i was in the river playing with the elephants that's true i mean i didn't feel any dizziness or any heat comes out from my body at that moment it was wonderful but after that, a fever worsened. <laughs> I was going to have a good rest at the hostel, take some medicine, and maybe get some sleep. But the bike shop came and asked us to pay the damage of the vehicle. But they wrote everything in Thai, so we couldn't even know which part was damaged. So I asked him to come to my hostel and explain the things to me. It turns out that we made some long scars on the bike. I knew I need to pay something, but um, I still need a proof. The person from the bike shop came first without the damaged vehicle, so I asked him to bring it, and then he started to explain. He said that they gave us a discount on every part damaged, but I just don't feel right without seeing the real price tag or the price list or like any proof of it so i keep asking them about that the staff from the hostel also tried to convince me that the price was reasonable it's nice but according to my personal experience it's still necessary to see the price list so they had him the person from the bike shop take me to the bike shop first and i think they were upset for not being trust or maybe they think that i'm not willing to pay it Man, it was pretty intense however they cannot offer the price list so they had the guy to take me to the yamaha shop but there they asked me for 500 baht for just the expectation of the bike which i'm not willing to pay because that's not my responsibility well Fortunately, Name had a moment to answer the call and he explained lots of things to the bike guy and tried to bargain lots. I'm really feel grateful for Name's help and it turns out the price is truly reasonable. Well, actually I knew that from the beginning but I just need the price list because Maybe it's just how we do things. It's not about that they're not trustworthy or something, but you know, you need some proof to protect your own rights. So anyway, I trusted name and paid a full amount and thankfully the things got cooled down and it's totally over. I slept for like 12 hours that night and the next day, which is today, I feel fine. Well, I still got some flu slash allergic-ish symptoms, but overall it was fine. The heat was gone and I just got a little light coughs. So anyway, we finally had the time and chance to take a walk in the beautiful city of Chiang Mai. After the two days, like, it's basically war. <laughs> Our plan was to see more temples and maybe just roaming around the street. And that's the moment when my media mode was broken which made it impossible to feel any more clip because i didn't bring any batteries with me and the volta just cannot charge my gopro well we still had fun that day we saw two beautiful temples and at a good restaurant and went to the drag queen show
so that's it. That's all my stories here in Chiang Mai. I think the city was great. The city itself was fantastic, was wonderful. It's cozy and comfortable for living, but maybe it just hate me. Tomorrow we're flying back to Bangkok and I hope the next time when I had a chance but to come back here in Chiang Mai, things will be a lot of difference. Yeah, so see you in Bangkok. <laughs>